jumping right into this camper renovation for the stinking day because I'm so excited. I am literally so sorry that I'm yelling at you guys, but we are about to start painting the cabinets. So Gabe is about to start working on the slide outs. And while he's doing the slide outs, I'm going to be doing the cabinets. We have been airing this out because the weather has been so good and it feels so so good in here so we're getting a lot of work done today early this morning we went to lowe's so i'm gonna show you guys Damn, bro. oh sorry what we got at lowe's i did not mean to drop that so the first thing that we got was a little paint a little holder i know this is like an insert but it was sturdy enough that i'm just gonna put some paint in it to help me roll um the paint so we got that next we got some overpriced hot cheetos and then we watch a bunch of camper videos and a lady that I follow had these. And so I thought it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and get started on doing these. She had these like uh, damp, dramp, damp aid things. So we're gonna go ahead and hang these in like little bedroom area. Cause I do feel like back there is like, you know, like moist feeling. It's not moist feeling, but now that I watched camper videos, my mind thinks that. So we're just gonna go with it. And we got us four cans of spray primer to prime the cabinets. And I got this little edger tool. And then I also got some more little um, rollers just in case I needed them. And then I also got a paintbrush. So let's get started. Okay, y'all. So the first thing that I did was wipe down this countertop. Or not countertop. This counter. And my husband told me not to do it. But I wanted to see the color so, so bad. Like, I was only supposed to paint the doors for the cabinets. But you know me. I always jump ahead. And probably whenever we're painting the rest of the camper, I'll regret this step. But I did go ahead and do the first coat of paint. And primed the cabinets today. And I know what y'all are going to say. But guess what? I don't care about it anyway. So now whenever we do go paint the rest of the camper, I'm going to have to tape this off and cover it with some tarp. But you know what? It's okay. I was so, so excited. So I went ahead and primed all of this. I will say gravity with the primer from the can is not your best friend. As you can tell, there was some drippage going on. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm about to grab the little paintbrush and fix it. But there was some drippage. And so I had to like smooth it out with the paintbrush. But other than that, it turned out beautiful in my opinion. The first coat was absolutely beautiful. Now that I have the pink color all in here, it looks so pink, but on camera, it does not pick up. You guys let me know down below if you guys can see it, but on camera, I feel like it doesn't pick up how pink it is. And in the camper, every time I walk in there, I'm like, this is legit pink. Like, it looks so good. I was trying to be subtle, but it's not subtle. On camera, it's subtle, but in real life, she ain't subtle. So then here I am trying to rip up this, like, baseboard with a little, like, what is that? A ring? Yeah, did not work. And I had to get Lovey's help to do it. He got it all off. And then I went ahead and cleaned on this side. And then I went ahead and did some priming on this side as well with the spray. Okay, now the real reason why we're here and what I'm supposed to be doing. I am doing the first coat of paint on these. I think I'm going to do one coat a day because I believe you have to do two to three coats. And honestly, I might just do the three. We did get the most expensive paint that you can get for the cabinets at Lowe's that Gabe picked. Um, just because we wanted to make sure this is sturdy, durable. We have three dogs. And I mean, it's just, we need it because we're messy, okay? But I want to make sure that I'm doing everything right. So that's why I want to do kind of like a coat a day. That way I know for a fact that it dries all the way through. We don't have any drippage. We don't have anything messed up. We want it to be perfect. And I know that it won't be, but I want it to be. And starting off strong, okay? Um, but I did do the first coat in all the little drawers and cabinets. And it looks so good, you guys. Like, can you guys tell that it's pink or does it look cream? I want to know down below. Also, I was using a roller and I did not like it. I did didn't like the way that it looked so I hope that using a brush is okay this is a like um cabinet and trim um brush so hopefully all the painters aren't coming for me for using a brush because I feel like it's just making a more even coat and it's getting in all the nooks and crannies I did buy that little like nook and cranny brush but I haven't even used it yet and I don't even think I will because this is just so much more easier I don't know if it's just me getting older, but this was so therapeutic for me. I was listening to music and I was all by myself. Gabe was outside working on the slides and I was just in my zone. 
I have just been enjoying reading books, doing nothing, sitting outside. Like, who even am I, you guys? And I don't know if it just comes with maturity or age or whatever it might be, but I have just been enjoying the more simple things and being more simple and doing more simple. Here I am just singing my songs. Like, tonight is literally Halloween, and I'm sitting on the couch cuddled up with my husband and my dogs, and I couldn't be more happier. I feel like the way social media is these days is you feel like you have to do everything and anything to fit in if it's the best costume, the cutest Instagram post, this, that, all these different things. And it's like, no, enjoy and do you and what makes you happy. There's a trending sound going on right now on TikTok and it's talking about something about being in your 20s and how you're just content with doing nothing. And that is literally me right now. Like, I don't want to go to parties. I don't want to go out. I don't want to. And if I do, I do and I have fun. But if I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. And I hope that there's other 20 year olds or 22 year olds or anybody out there, even if you're 50 or 40 or 30, it's okay to do you and do what makes you happy and do nothing if that's what makes you happy. I feel like the last few years, all I've done is try to keep up and try to do this and do that and be her and be that. And you know what? It's just so freeing to do me and be me. And I know that this sounds so cliche and something that everybody says, but this time I truly mean it, y'all. I am so happy being me and doing me and doing nothing. And let me know down below if that's you too. But if you like to go all out and you like to have parties and do parties and host parties, girl, I love that for you. I want to be that and I'm just not and it's okay. If I was home right now, I would be definitely putting up my Christmas tree. Let me know down below if you are the same way. Christmas starts today. Today is um, October 31st and today equals first day of Christmas for me. I already have some Christmas stuff up, but once I get home um, this week, we are going to be putting the Christmas tree up and I am so excited. It's our first Christmas in our first home. This is our first home we ever purchased together as a married couple and I am over the moon excited to decorate. And I don't want to hear any comments saying that I'm not thankful and I'm not grateful because I'm skipping Thanksgiving. No, I am grateful and thankful for the holidays and I'm grateful and thankful that there's Christmas. So I'm being so much more thankful by putting my Christmas tree up early and being thankful to the fact that the Lord was born and we have Christmas and all the things. I'm thankful for every part of it, every single holiday. Also, again, excuse my face when I'm focused. It's so not cute and just ignore her. So I need to know down below what you guys want to see because this video, I don't know what it's going to end up being, but it was over 25 minutes long. And I don't know if you guys want to hear me talk, if you want to listen to music, or if you want me to just sit here and talk about my day, talk about my life, or if you only want to hear about camper renovations, just let me know what you guys want to hear because I can sit here and talk about so many things. I am a talker. So if you want to hear about my life, if you want to hear about things, let me know. Here I am just telling Gabe that I accidentally got some paint on there and he told me that he did not care. Hair. I can get paint wherever I want and do whatever I want as long as I'm happy and I was like you know what I have the best husband ever if you didn't know hi hello my name is Drew Basham and I have ADHD and I couldn't keep myself focused on one thing and then I messed up because as you can tell on this wall there is a ton of holes that need to be patched and sanded and fixed but no here I am just wasting some primer wasting some time spraying it and making a mess so I went ahead and primed this and sprayed it and then also did the first coat of paint and I wasn't supposed to because we need to fill those holes and um sand them so there I am wasting and messing up but you know what it's okay we're thriving still my husband said he'll fix it for me so love that for me so I was hopeful that me and Gabe would be able to be in the camera the whole time and we could do like a little joint like his what he's doing versus what I'm doing. But he had to do a lot of stuff on the outside underneath the slide. So you won't see very much of him. Y'all know me. I had to move on from what I was doing and move over to here and do some painting on the cabinets. And basically just make more work for us whenever the time comes to paint the walls because we should have just primed everything all at once. But you know me, guys. You know I can't do that. I can't do one thing at a time. I can't follow the rules. You know, the usual. So anyways, we're just going to go with it. This looks white. Does it not look white on camera? But in person, you guys, she's pink. She's bright. She's beautiful. She is everything to me. And I want to paint my house pink. I want to paint my kitchen pink so um pray for Gabe no I'm just kidding okay back to the Halloween thing so it is Halloween right now and we have cameras like 
all over our house. Um, so don't worry, but I'm just watching the cameras and all the little kids disappointment when they realize nobody's home. They ring the doorbell and they're like, mom, nobody's there. I'm not getting any candy. And I feel so bad. I should have definitely left out like a bowl or something, but we left the day before. So it wouldn't have been like easy to leave it out, but I should have done something because now I feel so bad for the kids that aren't getting any candy. All right, back in business, baby. We're back to the cabinet doors. Um, Once these get done, I do plan to go ahead and put the pools on them. They did come in, and I did order them on Amazon. I wonder if you guys can pick the ones that I picked. I'll put them on the screen right now, and you guys guess down below which ones you think I picked. And before you type out, my grandma had those good I'm glad she had them because I want them. I want to be her. I want my camper to be grandma. I want her to show grandma. So comment down below which one do you think that I picked. I'm so excited. I feel like I have so many different styles and this is one of my styles that I am just so excited to let the creativity just run through me and just come out and just be boom. She's there. She's popping. She's real and I'm excited. Anytime we do something in the camper, though, I do forget that there is a whole back section, like the bathroom and the bathroom and our bedroom. And anytime we're done, I'm like, wow, we got so much done today. We only have a little bit left to go. And Gabe always reminds me that, no, we still have a ton to do. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys come back to see what we get done this week. Thank you guys so much for being here and being so kind and helping me, giving me all the tips and tricks. Because like I said, I literally know nothing about DIY. Gabe knows about everything, but I don't. Right, lovey? I don't know about everything. Yeah, you know it. In my book, you and my dad know everything. Oh, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> But like I said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys really enjoy. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'm going to be posting some TikToks. Also, follow me on Facebook because that's going to be a ton of behind-the-scenes content that TikTok, Instagram, nobody sees. Love you guys so much. Bye!